Alrighty, so, uh, I haven't made a video in quite a long time, in fact. I think YouTube says two months. I don't know the exact time. I don't remember when I posted it or anything. Um, I've been kind of watching YouTube a little more than usual lately, and I don't know, I just thought it would be nice to make a video, maybe. And I apologize if I have to drink water throughout, because, um, closer, um, my throat is really, really dry, and I had to drink a whole bunch of water before I could even make this, because I tried to, I tried to make another cut of this video, and I couldn't talk, so that was fun. I feel rather more subdued, um, I guess it's because it's like 12.35 a.m., and everybody else is in bed. My sister's right above me, so, yeah, I can't talk that loud, really. Um, I'm hoping the quiet house and the proximity to the camera will come. <sighs> okay, and well, another reason actually that I decided to make this video is because I watched Granola 37's uh, new video, the anti pro recovery video. Um, and actually, I, I agree with her on a lot of points. You, you really have to watch the video because it's, it's a great video, number one. But the essence of it is that pro recovered people are often fundamentalisty and that they're 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 hyper vigilant about keeping everybody on the straight and narrow all the time, lest one little trigger sets somebody back. And then also, um they're kinda hypocritical sometimes. Somebody sicker than you can be all, ooh, gung ho, pro recovery, recover now. I've seen that a lot, you know? Um on Facebook. I have a confession to make. Uh I made a, a separate E D account. Okay. Because I don't want all the ED stuff all over my main page, number one. And number two, there's certain kinds of groups that I wanted to join that I didn't feel that I could join on my main group. Uh, anything to do with ED that wasn't in recovery light, pretty much. Um, anything that would, you know, somebody would see the name of the group and go, what? She has an eating disorder? You know. Eating disorder recovery groups are a little different. And I only pick the ones that are more subtle in name, and I've been in them for a while, that sort of thing, so people don't tend to see those show up on their list as much. Um, <coughs> so I need some more water. Okay, um, so anyway, um, there are a few girls who are pro recovery on my other Facebook. Not that many of them. Um, Another confession I tend to end, but mostly the pro ads. Mostly because that Facebook is like a way to vent my negative side. Do you know what I mean? And I don't want all the pro recovery girls basically being like vigilant about recovery and, and you know, they, they tend to be extremely anti pro ad, which I can understand, but I don't, you know, want them to bother me about it. I don't know if you just heard that squeak, my computer's fucked into it. But anyway, um,. I don't know, I can think of one girl who ended up in the hospital because of, like, I, I'm pretty sure it was ED related, and it was like she was really, you know, fairly strong in recovery, and then she just really slipped. There was another girl who extremely, extremely emaciated and anorexic, like, like, deathly skeletal, and I, I, you know, I love her bits. She's awesome, but, um... You know, I have no problem with her being pro recovery because frankly I think she needs it. Um, anything that, at all that will keep her positive and, and eating more to me would be a very, very good thing because she's very extremely sick. And she doesn't really try to push it on me. I've seen her try to kind of push it on other people who pro post statuses that, I mean she has a lot of pro anorexics on her list. Number one, I don't know why she keeps them there. Maybe because she wants some kind of safety net if she goes back into the disorder, which seems to be what a lot of the girls do, actually. It's like they vacillate between wanting recovery and, and wanting their eating disorders, which is something I also find about her recovery, but anyway. I'll pull this back to me now, because that was, you know, the starting video, I guess, to talk about me. Um, I haven't wanted to post a video because... I, I don't know, I seemed pretty gung-ho about recovery for a good long while on these videos, and I guess I was, but sometimes I think pro-recovery is a way to try and be stronger about recovery, um, so that, because the easy temptations are, it's like, I'm right here, 
ED is right here. And it's just, it's reaching out its little hand and it's almost got me by the face and if I don't, if I don't pull myself away from everything and anything to do with ED, it's gonna grab me. That's, that's how it feels when you start recovery. Like, any little thing. Any little thing is like the hugest strong magnet against your little weak magnet. You're sucked in, but as you, as you step away from the ED stuff and you're able to build up your own personality and your own strength, you get stronger as a magnet, just to continue the example, and so eventually you can, you know, pull yourself away even when it gets closer and closer. Or then you can even start resisting it if you get to that stage. I don't know if I quite got there, really. Um, you know, I think, I think you guys all really did know that I'm pretty much recovered from restriction, but I'm not recovered from bulimia or even overeating at times, which I hate to say that because, you know, obviously it makes you feel disgusting and fat, and I basically decided that I'm fat, um, and I don't want to hear that, oh my god, you're not fat, um, I don't think any other person on this planet has an objective view about myself. I especially don't think that my real life friends have any kind of objective view about what fat really is. Um, it's gonna sound terribly, terribly mean, but like a lot of them are, are you know, biggish and they don't, they see me as smaller than them, therefore they see me as small and I think that's completely skewed. I don't think I'm small at all and I don't believe them when they say I'm small because I'm sure that the perceptions are being altered by what they see around them and me. It's like, you compare like a little like, the smallest elephant in the tribe to all the big elephants in the tribe. Yes, it's small, but you compare it to a zebra. It's freaking massive, right? Right? Yeah. So this is exactly what I'm getting at, right? Um, I'm the small elephant, but I'm still a fucking elephant, you know? Um, ideally, honestly, like, I'm... I'm at a BMI of, like, between, like, 23.5, 24, point, like, two or three years old. I vacillate, um, maybe because of the BPing, maybe because I, you know, I have times when I'm more restricting in between binging and purging, and sometimes when I'm more overeating between binging and purging, or, you know, eating large, normal meals. And so, the weight never stays the same. It stays around the same kind of range. I think it's a heavy, heavy range. I think the BMI, like everybody else that's at a lower BMI or can, and mine just won't go there, and it pisses me the fuck off when I really want it to go there, but then I always say all this stuff about it, and I never do anything about it much. 